Now, Angie, I know you know this, but here's the question. Who is graduating with the most advanced degrees? Women. Who controls almost two-thirds of the country's wealth? Well, baby boomer women. And it's no surprise that the Huffington Post predicted that women's empowerment, and that includes financial empowerment, will be one of the transformative economic trends of the century. But the financial services industry has not yet changed how it talks to or deals with women and their finances. Let's talk with Raul jo Jacobs. He's a financial advisor. You specialize in this area. So uh, a man and a woman come in, and I'm assuming that right now the financial industry typically talks to the man because they think he's the decision maker. Bill, it's uh, it's amazing. Yeah, you're right. you're absolutely right. When when the couple comes into the office, you always see the advisor just focusing directly into the man's uh, uh, opinions and you know just presenting directly to the man, and the female is just completely ignored, just sitting by right next to him. Now, the fact is, as you told me, that more women now are becoming ever larger pieces of the investing pie. They're opening up their own accounts. Yes, absolutely. I mean, we're, we're seeing now 66% of the wealth in the United States is actually being held by women. And uh, advisors don't really recognize that it's actually women that are controlling all these assets, which end up being almost like $19 trillion of the economy. So the industry has to make some adjustments here. Uh, do women's investment decisions differ in any way from what a man's objective is? Yes, absolutely. I think uh, men are definitely more in the performance-driven type of individuals. Women, on the other hand, they're more relation relational, which means that um, they want to see that the money goes beyond just what it says on the paper. They want to see a financial plan. They want to see that not only her, but also the family right next to them, they're, they're taken care of. And you say also, this is interesting, that a women's financial needs are quite different from men's because mainly they live longer. They do live longer, yeah. I mean, statistically, they live 8% longer than, than men do. And uh, that means that we have to prepare completely for a dif different financial plan when it comes to women because they live longer. Raul Jacobs, thank you so much. Thank you very much.